Hi, I'm Vanessa Francis. You have seen my basement, you have seen my kitchen, but today I'm going to show you four other spaces in my home that are underutilized. You're gonna see what I did to them to make them more functional and pretty. So I'm standing in my home office and when I first moved into the home, basically it had a small desk and a chair and that was it. The reason why I bought this home was because of this space and this office. It's not a large space, it's 10 by seven, but I saw it as an office with wall-to-wall -wall cabinetry for storage. I'm a decorator and I work for myself from home, so I needed a space to house my Mac as well as all the copious samples that decorators need. Fabric samples, wallpaper, tile, all of that. Built-in custom cabinetry is a splurge, but I really wanted to invest in that because it makes me more productive and more efficient. And I just love coming in here. I get a lot of work done. I know where everything is. Everything has a home. Well, I also needed a space to house books. There's no other bookcase in the house. And so in here I have my travel books and I have all my decorating books. Also, I have yoga books. I used to teach yoga. So just being surrounded by things that you love is, is wonderful. I love, I just like looking at it. It looks so pretty. Um, okay, so I feel like I've made the most out of this very small space to maximize its potential and give me a beautiful and functional home office, which I love working in every day. Another underutilized space in my home is at the top of the landing, there was a niche and there was nothing there. When I moved in, I put an armoire there, but it never felt right and never had enough storage. And as a designer, whenever I see on a floor plan a niche, I immediately think of cabinetry for storage. In my home office, I did custom cabinetry, which is on the expensive side, but upstairs, I was on a lower budget, so I actually did IKEA. And it's just great for overflow storage from my linen closet, which was really tiny. Well, I actually had wallpaper left over from my bathroom and it's a very expensive wallpaper, so I wanted to use it somewhere. And I had just enough for this niche. I'm so glad that I maximized the forgotten space because we do use it on a daily basis and it's such a great use of floor space. So when I moved in, the laundry room was a typical, I guess, builder basic laundry room. It had the plastic laundry tub and the washing machine. The front loaders were on pedestals. Plus, it really smelled, which sometimes happens to front loaders. I switched out the appliances. That was the real impetus to do the laundry room, but I wanted to make it functional, so I added storage above the washer and dryer. And I also wanted to make it pretty, so that's where the shiplap came in. I love vertical shiplap. The shiplap is pink, but I wanted the overall space to read more neutral. That's where the black and white comes in, the white cabinetry, the black herringbone floor tiles, which I love, and I did a black penny round on the backsplash. The piece de resistance, I think, in the laundry room is the sink. The sink is from Native Trails. I'd seen it at the Kitchen and Bath Show a few years ago, and I fell in love with it. It looks like concrete, but it's actually not and it's not as heavy, but it's gorgeous. Who likes doing laundry, let's face it, but when you have a nice space to go into that's not only functional, but also beautiful, it just makes doing a household chore so much more fun. So the fourth underutilized space in my home is my closet. Now, in every home I've lived in, I've had a closet organizer. And if you've never had one, you don't know what you're missing. For me, it keeps me organized. I can see all my clothes at a glance and it really doubles your capacity of storage. It's a walk-in closet. It's not on the huge side, but by having the organizer, I can double up on the hanging space. Like a lot of people, I read Marie Kondo's Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. She uses the KonMari method and a special way of folding, which makes your clothes easier to see and it takes up less space. So I did that in my drawers. I wanted to make it a bit prettier and not always have my door closed. Now the door is always open. I have this beautiful light from Christorama. It's brass, it's the bling in the room. I actually painted one wall pink it's a shade darker than the pink color I have in the laundry room. It's called Melted Ice Cream by Benjamin Moore. And I added this sweet little rug. I think every home has underutilized and overlooked spaces. And I don't regret for a minute 
what I've done to this home. I just love the spaces, it keeps me organized, and let's face it, stuff causes stress when you see it, but if you have a home for everything and you get rid of the clutter, it really just makes your mind more at ease and really can lead to a more peaceful life. 